Former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords is leading a gun control rally right now in Philadelphia, just a few miles from the Democratic Convention site. Tonight, the issue will move to center stage as the mothers of the movement, many of, many of them women who've lost their sons to gun violence, talk about why they're backing Hillary Clinton. We know uh, Secretary Clinton, even as Senator Clinton, has been dealing with these kinds of issues with gun violence, gun violence prevention, uh, mass incarceration, criminalization, poverty. She's been dealing with these kinds of uh, systemic issues all along. So her record speaks for itself. So she didn't just join the game. She's been doing the work already. She's been in the trenches. So she understands dynamically the way to move forward to be able to change this kind of climate that we see with um, gun violence. Joining me now to talk about this, Congressman Brad Sherman from California. Welcome, sir. Thanks for being here. So gun control, a central issue of, of tonight's convention, and there's this big rally in Philadelphia going on right now with Gabby Giffords. It is an important issue, but but are voters passionate enough about it that that their passion will get them to, to the polls to vote? There are people passionate on both sides, and there's an, an effort on the other side to paint us as against the culture of rural America, against the idea of hunting, against uh, the idea of uh, having a gun at home for self-protection, where you may be 15, 20 minutes away from law enforcement. So uh, the effort here is to show that with reasonable gun control laws that have a prospect of passing, you don't need 30 bullets in a magazine to bring down a deer, and if you do, you shouldn't be hunting. <laughs> Well, I do think that the Republicans have um, have been successful in painting the Democrats um, as as destroyers of the Second Amendment, and I'll just give you one example. Here's Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton wants to abolish the Second Amendment. She wants to abolish it. Okay. Hillary Clinton wants to take your guns away, and she wants to abolish the Second Amendment. She wants to take the bullets away. She wants to take it. You tell me that's something we can live with. We're going to cherish the Second Amendment. All right, so, so many gun rights advocates absolutely believe that, that Democrats, their real intent is to destroy the Second Amendment. I think that's uh, ridiculous. Uh, there are a lot of members of our caucus that uh, uh, that are hunters, uh, an awful lot uh, who uh, represent rural areas. Again, this is about how many bullets you need in the magazine. Do you need a gun that will spray bullets around? Uh, and, and the answer to those questions is no, just as even the gun advocates say you shouldn't have a bazooka at home, uh, nor do you need one. So uh, Trump will try to describe us as extremists. He'll try to say uh, we're for open borders and unlimited immigration. He'll try to say we're for uh, uh, no uh, uh, trade deals at all, just let everybody, uh, every good into the country. Uh, and he'll try to say that we're for taking guns away from people. But if you actually look at the positions, they're the reasonable kinds of common sense. If, I mean, what we fought for in Congress was no fly, no buy. Does anybody out there think that someone is so dangerous that we prevent them from, you, from their constitutional right to travel? We won't let them get on a plane, but we'll let them buy a gun? Uh, of course, we need a system for getting off that list and the due process. But if due process says you're too dangerous to fly, then you're too dangerous. To uh, those are the kinds of common sense measures that I think people in the country will agree with. Uh, what I wanted to ask you about, too, is, mm -hmm. you know, Hillary Clinton said, you know, she's the unifying factor among Republicans. It seemed last night that Donald Trump really was the unifying factor for Democrats. Uh, yes, uh, look, I think we'd be unified behind our positive agenda, but Trump certainly helps. Uh, here is a, a, a man who uh, uh, has uh, pandered uh, to racism, uh, has uh, proposed constitutional tests. He, he says the most extreme thing, and then he backs down just a little bit. Uh, but, but but wouldn't you rather the candidate being the being the unifying factor and, and not the guy who's running against that candidate? We have both. And uh, uh, as an American, I'm aghast that one of our major political parties would nominate Trump. But as a Democrat who would like to see some big wins, uh, I think they're doing all they can to help us. Congressman, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I appreciate it. Still to come in the newsroom, Bernie Sanders is preaching unity. His delegates set to speak minutes from now. Is the party closer to coming together?